one morning I woke up and I realized that I was never going to be a girl's girl, right? And I was like totally okay with that. And the reason behind that is because I'm never going to be the one who coddles or pacifies a woman when I know they did some fuck shit. I'm always going to hold women responsible and accountable for stuff. And it's a lot of women out here that dislike me because of that. I'm very honest about my past. I've shared my stories with women. And I've encouraged women to never do some of the things that I've done. I noticed that when women express that they want other women to discontinue aiding men and continuing to mistreat women. Y'all assume we like cold and callous. Like we never felt pain before. Like to me, I don't like when women give men too many chances. When I say that I didn't feel sorry for Cardi B and the last time she got cheated on, it's because she continuously keeps forgiving Offset. And they're like, oh, you gonna fault her for wanting to keep her family together? No, I'm faulting her because she continues to allow her children to see her mistreated. That's a problem for me. I'm not gonna coddle that. Stop enjoying victimhood. Or like when Meg got shot in the foot by Kelsey and then blamed it on Tori, I'm like, First of all, how you get shot in the foot and be twerking two days later? Come on, man. Your foot was grazed. That's number one. Number two, you were sleeping with your best friend, man. And that wasn't the first time you done that. And you sleep around with a lot of people. Yeah, it's a lot of people who like turbo thought culture and celebrate you, you know, wiping the floor with your veg. Even I had a turbo thought phase. I get it. But damn, I do not feel sorry for you that your friend, <laughs> you deserve that. Or like with Cassie. Cassie put up with Diddy stuff for such a long time. She was being paid monthly. I'm talking about this woman was making millions, putting up with Diddy's crap, holding all of Diddy's secrets. And then suddenly now it's like, I'm going to write a book about you if you don't pay me. I'm going to tell everybody what you did. And everybody's like, oh, Cassie, get him for his money. She's always been getting him for his money. She, she took payment to be his victim. I, I get it. You see, you see, you see where I stand with it? Or like this mess with Kiki Palmer. Y'all know damn well if your man went to a concert and you saw footage of him on social media being grinded by some woman, you'd be like, you enjoying this too much, bruh. That means if you had some sense, but it's a lot of women out there that don't have any sense. Y'all okay with your man disrespecting your relationship. But any woman who's in a relationship with somebody they love, they would have never went that far with Usher. I'm sorry. And we've seen women who were happily married or in relationships be serenaded by Usher and they ain't go that hard. We all know our man and we know what will make our man feel comfortable. And, and Kiki Palmer knew what would make her man feel comfortable. I do not feel sorry for her. Even after I saw those like clips, those little pictures of video clips of him like dragging her and I'm thinking to myself, okay, you want to show us screenshots, but I bet you if you show us all that video, we'll see that y'all fight each other on a regular. Like you bopping him upside of his head too. I don't feel sorry for Kiki Palmer. That's why I can sit here and tell y'all I'm not the girl's girl. I'm the type of person that I'm like, listen, both genders can do wrong. Not just one, not just men, but women too.